this, this is Miss Raven. I'm going to help you draw a scarecrow today. What we're going to do is we're going to draw the very top, the very top of the hat first. So we're going to draw a triangle. I'm going to go up and down like I'm going to make a letter A, but instead of putting the line in the middle, I'm going to put the line at the bottom. I'm going to put a line at the bottom and I'm going to make a rectangle for the top of the hat. Then I'm going to put a curved line for the bottom of a circle and I'm going to add some straw. You can make some of the pieces kind of zigzag because straw is not really straight. Some of the pieces might overlap. The straw is what a scarecrow is stuffed with. And most of us know that a scarecrow is put in a field to scare the crows away from eating the crops. All right, I'm gonna give my scarecrow button eyes. He's gonna have a triangle nose that's been sewed on, so I'm gonna put the little lines here for the stitches where it's sewn. He's gonna have a little mouth that's been sewn on too. And his shirt, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a little rectangle here and a rectangle here and a little letter V in the middle, okay? And a line down the middle and a rectangle. He might be kind of fluffy on one side because he's got a lot of hay stuck in his shirt. A rectangle for the arm, a rectangle for the arm, a line for the sleeve, a couple of buttons. Now I want my scarecrow to look like he is really stuffed. So Ms. Rabbit's going to draw a bumpy line right here like there's holes gaping in his shirt where straw is coming out. He's just got too much straw stuffing. And then he needs some rectangles for his pants. So one rectangle, come up, another rectangle, go up. The bottoms of his pants are rolled up and there's some hay sticking out of the bottom of his pants too. Just do that with some zigzag lines and it'll look like different strands of hay or straw. Pockets, patches everywhere because you wouldn't want to put new clothes on a scarecrow. If the farmer was making a scarecrow, he would put some old stuff on his scarecrow since the birds might peck at it and the weather will probably mess it up too. little more zigzag lines for the straw. He's even got some straw pick, sticking out of a hole in his shirt. So straw sticking out of the side over here, a little hole. Patches on his shirt. Elbow patch here. Okay. And then little sticks for him to be stuck into the ground. Now you can add a background if you'd like. Um, you're gonna be able to add color to them if you'd like to. You could do plaid or some kind of design on the shirt. Ms. Raven's gonna show you how you could do a little design. I'm gonna put stripes going down. You could do this with crayon or with marker. Stripes going across over here. Okay, and then I'm going to do my dark blue stripes go in the opposite direction. This kind of fabric is called gingham whenever you have one stripe going down and one stripe going across. If I want to make it plaid, I can add another kind of stripe in there too. I could take some of this green and add another stripe in between to make it plaid. This is the seafoam green. 